Hi, it's Dr. McCarthy here with thyroid treatment success secret number three. Today we're going to talk about thyroid antibodies. Now, we spoke on the last video about the autoimmune condition where your immune system is attacking your thyroid and many of our patients, most of our patients, have never even had these tests run. Most of the time, the only tests that are run are TSH or maybe TSH and your total T4. That's what is done in the traditional healthcare environment. And I'm gonna to explain to you why that is insufficient. First of all, TSH and T4 don't give you the big picture as to what's going on with your thyroid. Secondly, is that if you've not had your thyroid antibodies checked, your TPO and TBG antibodies, then you don't know if you have this autoimmune condition. Remember in the last video, we spoke about the balance in your immune system between Th1 and Th2, and how we stimulate Th3 to modulate and balance your immune system? Well, we don't know if we have to do this because you've never even had the proper tests run. How do you know what the problems are if you don't ask the right questions? We run the proper tests and we find out if you've got this problem. If there's an imbalance in your immune system, it could be due to a number of different things. First thing that we talk about is what's called an active antigen. This could be something like a parasite or a virus or a uh, bacteria that's living inside of you that doesn't belong there. Your body perceives that as an active antigen. It flares up your immune system, creates this imbalance, and if you've got this autoimmune disease, your thyroid gland ultimately winds up being attacked. Some other things that can flare up your immune system are food sensitivities, very, very common in our office. There's lots of foods that we're eating that we think are healthy foods, but if your body is having an immunological response to those foods, they are not healthy, not for you. We've got to run the proper test and find out. Next, inflammation. One of the things that we see very commonly is that there's no doctors who are checking your levels of inflammation. If you've got sky high levels of inflammation, that's gonna screw up the way your immune system works. We gotta figure out why you've got the inflammation, lower the inflammation, and that will help us to balance your immune system. Last thing I wanna talk about, but very, very important, is a condition called dysglycemia. That's when your blood sugar is not regulated properly. Throughout the course of the day, it goes too high and too low, and too high and too low. And when this is done repeatedly, this creates a whole lot of stress to the way your thyroid functions, and your immune system cannot function properly if you're dealing with dysglycemia. There's a lot that we talked about today in video number three. If you have any questions on this, I ask you to call my office, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.